Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Children's FTV on a fine Monday morning. Now, if you're wondering uh, why me and no hair, I haven't done it on a Monday morning for such a while now. Yeah, but since no hair, has done a very good job on doing Saturday Bear now. And you probably guessed what his favourite job was. Showing off some Saturday cartoons, of course. Wasn't it, Nerva? Yup, it was a great big success. Yeah, well, I'm glad you thought about that. But anyways, viewers, so here's what's coming up on today's Children's FTV. Now, to kick things off in a minute, we start things off with Bodger and Badger. Yeah, you guessed it, Bodger and Badger. That, that's it in a few minutes. And then, of course, however, we will be having Willow the Wisp. Willow the Wisp? George Buxton is a wimp. Oi! Don't you call me that! Cut it out, Mr. Bear! <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying before, no hair bear interrupted me. We will be having Willow the Wisp, more adventures with the Space Vets, and even some more crazy animated adventures with Albert the Fifth Musketeer, and loads more of your favourite programmes coming your way today. And now, on Children's FTV, it's time to begin with Bodger and Badger, No Hair's favourite programme, which it will never be off, which it will never be the last broadcast, just like the Berry family was. Yeah, so rest in peace to the Berry family that was broadcasted on their children's FTV. So here's Bodger and Badger. Ready. <laughs> Badger. And of course, however, Bodger and Badger will probably be back on Friday morning when no hair bear gets to present it on his own again. You see, I think uh, last Friday didn't go very well because I had to be with no hair bear at all times because he was crying over the last broadcast of the Berry family. So, yeah, as I said, farewell to the Berry family. But don't worry, everybody, it's a good thing that we've got another cartoon that's quite a bit similar. Oh, and speaking of which, here we go with the Barclays, and let's go. <laughs> Barney Barkley, he's the head of the Barkley House. Agnes Barkley is his devoted and loving spouse. They've got kids, Terry, Roger, and Chester, too. Well, I don't know about you, the Barclays are a bit similar to the Berry family, except that um, the Barclays don't have a little sister, only the big sister does. Oh, and the sister's name was Terry, which is a bit unusual, really. But anyway, so it's now time for... Take it away, Derba. <gasps> now our children have to be, it's time for Postman Park! Woohoo! Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Bom, 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 bom. Oh yeah, it's a good thing we've already broadcasted this text of bus thing. 
Uh, haven't we? Uh, last time? Yeah, I know we did, uh, but I was a success. Yep, that's what I thought. So what's the next program, anyway? Well, the next program is that something that you might like. What's that? Ah, now, uh, do you remember when you just introduced the program, Space Bet? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think if it was about the shrunken brain. Ah, uh, yep. Especially Broadbusters has got it soft for a brain. I, I certainly do not! Right, cut that out. Once again. Oh! But anyways, here's some, here's a good episode of The Space Vets. Anyway, oh yeah. Patreon Dog Spot. Captain's Diary, 10th of the 7th. We are proceeding at full speed to the planet Servius, where a dangerous virus is threatening one of the world's last surviving herds of wild Winnie Pig. We aim to save time by landing high up in the mountains where the Winnie Pig live. And that was Space Vets. Wow, hmm. Space Vets is a very cool drama. Oh yeah, in space as well. And it features Dog's body. Hmm, that's the big hero from the 90s. And speaking of heroes, here's another hero, and it's a musketeer. And it's Albert. You clever inventions, you've know his intentions to help whenever he can. If you want something sorted like enemy smarter, then Albert's your man. His name is Albert. Albert. He's Albert the Fifth Musketeer. He's there at the double whenever there's trouble with wood and string and stuff. The things that he makes and Whenever the going gets rough, his name is Albert. Albert. He's Albert the Fifth Musketeer. He's sharp, he's cool, he's nobody's fool. He's Albert the Fifth Musketeer. And that was Albert the Fifth Musketeer. Yep, he sure is a hero as well as Dog's Body is. Yep, I guess these two heroes have done well together. Hmm. Yeah, because otherwise it would have been a crossover movie. Mm, sort of. But anyway, Skewer, so now that we've had um, Space Vet and uh, Albert the Fifth Musketeer, it's now time for... George Buxton's Harry Arbit! Aye, it's Harry Jeremy, you dope! Ow! Here's Harry Jeremy. Bye, um, bye, um, bye, um. And that was George Buxton. What? Nothing. Oh, all right. Now, as I as I was saying, now, and that was George. And that was. And that. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, hair. Um, you were trying to interrupt. I was trying to say. George is spotted as Harry Arbus. Just because you think it, you just because you think I look like Harry, Jeremy. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh? What? No hair? You are such a dipstick. Oh! Oh, and more importantly, I think you got your Harry Bottom. Harry Bottom? Harry Bottom? How dare you? Oh, yeah, what well, I'm going to promise him a few more. Oh, uh, children's Earth TV will be back, we'll be right back after the break. Go, go away! Yeah, that's safe for me. Oh dear. Well, see you after the break. Go, go away! Wah! Ah! Ow! Hello everybody and welcome back to Children's Have TV. Hi, uh, sorry about no hair there folks. This is only because I called him a Harry Bottom. And the next time, uh, if we broadcast Harry Jeremy again, I am going to get him as paid back for what he called me from my hairy armpits, which I do not have. Alright, uh, but no, you, you can come back up now. <sighs> Alright, Roger. Oh, yeah. Sorry if I called you a hairy armpit. 
that's all right. But I forgive you. And, and I'm also sorry if I called your bum Harry Potter. It's because, um, anyways, the reason why because I decided to get you back. <gasps> you are such a dick. Don't you say that. <sighs> Anyways, what was going to happen was trying to say something about a bit bad word. And I apologize if for those who are offended right now, please don't make your children hear it, please. But anyways, for yourself, coming up next on Children's FTV now, as promised, here we go with Willow the Wisp. Have you heard of the latest whisper? <laughs> Especially this Willow the Whisper. <laughs> Willow the Whisper. Boo boo. I'm just joking, everybody. Here's Willow the Whisper. <laughs> I, I see that you just got my joke very well. Yup, and I'm sorry if I say Whisper. That's alright. Just, did you know, though, there, that Whisper, um, it's a chocolate bar. That's a bit like having a chocolate flake. Oh, you mean like it was based on, it was used on ice cream cones? Yes, especially on a hot day. Oh. Oh, George, oh, mind you, um, what sort of ice cream do you used to like? Well, I used to go to Ross's Ices in Weymouth. Ooh. I hear that they do Italian ice cream. Yeah, that's right. And they also do natural flavor. Oh, what's natural? Natural, it just means plain vanilla. Hmm, it makes me want to drool at George Buxton. And now, right now on Children's FTV, it's time for Bram. As he finds out who was that tall man there. And I think I already know who's the tall man here. It's George Buxton! <laughs> Ah! Uh, anyways, here's Bra. And that was Bra. Oh, and he's already found out that there was a little girl who was a gymnast, and also um, there was that stir tall man. That that man was actually wearing stilts. So that's why this episode was called Stilts for some reason. Oh, and I'm sorry if ever had had to dribble all over me. That's because he thinks that natural flavour ice cream is definitely the best. But you know what? I agree with him for once. <clears throat> well then, Derbe. Now, what do you think we should do now? I mean, the very family's no more, remember? Yeah, alright, I knew that. Well, you know what, Derbe? I think that because we're nearly coming to um three weeks now, because don't worry about Mr. Witt, he'll be back uh, after three more weeks. Ooh, does that mean we can carry on? Yes, just until Mr. Witt gets back. Oh, oh yes, and of course, Ernie, however, will still be a substitute presenter. Yeah, I guess. Right, so uh, what program shall we broadcast uh, to make it as the last program? I mean, very family's definitely out now. Well, we can still forecast one of us later. Woo! Can we? Yes. Cosmic! <laughs> anyway, so here we go with the next program now. And it's the Raggy Doll. More like the Raggy Bear here. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> well, here's the Raggy Doll's so it's not much of a life when you're just a pretty face. Just to be whoever you are is no disgrace. Don't be scared if you don't fit in. Look who's in the reject bin. It's the raggy dolls. Raggy dolls. Raggy dolls. Raggy dolls. dolls like you and me are happy just to be raggy dolls. Was the Raggy Dolls, and I'm sorry if no head there had to cheer, because um, here we go with the last program of the day, 
and it's what a mess. Well, now that are you looking at? Go oh, ahead, get off me! Oh! What a mess, and sadly, that's the last programme for today. Well, no, about, I don't know about you, but aren't you a bit sad that What a Mess was the last programme? No, I'm not sad about it. It's a good thing that you're not cancelling What a Mess too much. No, but that's because that's why we're only doing it for three more weeks, because summer holiday's almost over soon. What, is it for the children? Yes, but that's why it's called Children's FTV for nothing. Oh, yeah, I see. All right, George, well, I better leave you to it now. Bye, everybody. See you in the morning for what I get to do for Tuesday morning bits. Bye-bye. And there he goes, everybody. He's now left now. Okay. Now, because of the, the Berry family's no more, from now on, at every time when we get to the last programme, Watermess, however, will be the last programme. And, and besides, we haven't had Watermess for a while. Yeah, well, not since the Berry family now. As a bow. So anyway, so it's time for me to say goodbye, and Mo Hepburn will see you tomorrow morning. So until we see each other again, bye bye everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>